Well, our story begins in August 1936. Now, this is the depths of the Great Depression. And in the town of Fort Benton, there's a, a box, a coffin, a body being brought to the train station at Fort Benton, a sheep herder whose name has been lost to history, who is being shipped back east to his family. But following that uh, cart that's bringing the, the coffin up is a dog, a collie-like dog. They load the coffin on board uh, one of the trains heading east uh, back to his family, and the dog remains behind. It comes and takes up a home underneath the train station platform, and for the next five and a half years, from 1936 until January 1942, that dog, that shepherd dog, met every tr passenger train coming into Fort Benton, about four a day, waiting obviously for its master who is not going to come back. As time goes on, the dog's uh, vigil uh, is, becomes more widely known, uh, finally picked up by Ripley's, believe it or not, a big column back in that era, and so the news kind of goes nationwide about this dog's vigil. Uh, in January of 1942, the dog, which was not young to begin with, is now old, arthritic, probably half blind and, and deaf, and it misses the sound of a train coming into the train station, it is run over by that train, and. I guess you could say at last it rejoins its master. The obituary was carried by AP and UPI nationwide. Thousands of people uh, sent in condolences. Hundreds of people came to the funeral a couple days later right here. Uh, and the dog was carried by Boy Scout Troop 47 from Fort Benton in its coffin up to this uh, uh, lonely bluff overlooking the town. And the uh, Great Northern Railway put up an obelisk and a, and a sign for the dog up there. So here in Fort Benton, we've always looked on that as just one example of a, the great faithfulness that a dog has to its master and its drawn people to come back here for the last um, 75 years. <laughs>